What is going on, my friends? What is going on, YouTube friends, Patreon friends, my BTS army, bro? Come on, man. It's been a, it's been a, just a minute here, and I've been listening to a little bit. I've been going back and listening to the ones that I've done on my own. So I've been working on some on some homework a little bit, and um, for myself, for some for some different reasons, which I might talk about during the video. But um, I wanted to uh, get into one of these reactions for the day, and this is my my little return, man. We got like a foot of snow, and I've had this weird like panicky feeling the last couple of days, but it's been weird. It's been weird. I changed my blinds. I got these weird, ugly brown blinds now, and I'm looking forward to it. My friend Angel hooked me up with the goods here. So what do we got? We got BTS Zero O'Clock at Butterfly Prologue. Prologue? Right? Mix, live, full performance, yet to come. Is it Busan? Looking forward to this one, man. Nine minutes, and it's two songs back to back. Uh, I have no idea what I'm walking into for this one. I don't know if this is going to be choreo heavy. I don't know if this is going to be band heavy. I don't know what we're getting into. But I'm looking forward to it, my friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this is your first time. Bye. Give me the thumbs up. Thumbs up is the best way to promote the channel here on YouTube. If you want to check out the Patreon, if you want to send me your links and requests as well, the link's in the description box, just like my friend Angel did. Uh, we got a couple of the BTSers, actually. I got a, I got another one of these I got to check up on here right away. Um, I also have a tip jar if y'all just want to say thanks. It doesn't uh, it doesn't come with like submissions and like links and stuff, so I'm going to do a PayPal request spot as well. But right now, I got a tip jar. If that's your vibe, if that's your vibe. If not, the thumbs up. I appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate the thumbs up. Let's see if I can earn it now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let me turn this up for y'all. Let's just let's just talk about let's just talk about those video screens for a second. Like, imagine how much time that took to build. <laughs> What's neat is they all like clip together, and it looks like pretty seamless. Like you can't see any if there's any dead pixels or anything. Um, but like they would literally have to build this all and hoist it all up into the air, right? So I'm assuming that this video part of this is gonna be. A big part of the production which is wild it's so cool to see these days but anyways anyways look how big it is like he just looks little like wow So I think it's I think he's got I think his larynx he's not letting drop and it gives that like kind of sore, short or that softer kind of feel so um here, hold on. like it's not quite all head voice it's like it's like in my mix but I'm not making it punchy I'm not making it distorted I'm leaving it kind of gentle and like more emotional right so I think I think it's like a raised I think it's raised larynx and a little bit of mixed voice. It sounds beautiful though. Very fitting for like the intro of the song. This is like this is how I intro songs. When I first started doing the YouTube thing, I got big. I'm sorry for the rant. I'll keep it to myself after. Um, I got big into Miley Cyrus, and she always comes out swinging. She always comes out swinging, and so it's interesting to see BTS choosing to like do an intro like this. And I'm sure they don't do it all the time, but this intro right here and being soft and keeping it like in like what I what I was raised in, on on performing. It's just interesting the the. The lines will say. I would say that it looks like and sounds like the video is a little choppy, but it looks and sounds like they sing a lot together because like they're they're all kind of using the same presentation with different intonation, different timbres, like obviously different voices. But when they sing in unison, I bet you it sounds very, very, very similar. They sound very rehearsed together because it's the same kind of like um, inflections, um, positioning, and like the 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 vocal embouchure, et cetera, et cetera. Right? Very, very, very. Um, practiced rehearsed disciplined that's what i'm kind of getting at here right? see i would say like still it sounds like a little like a raise so the difference between like when, when you're with your larynx position is like if i if i talk and i try to make my voice resonate and boom this is like the easiest way for me to kind of drop my resident my my uh my larynx and kind of show you 
what's going on when I'm trying to make things resonate. Or I can kind of talk and I can be a little bit lighter. I can be a little bit more gentle. I can be let my larynx go up a little bit. It doesn't resonate the same, even though it's in the same kind of pitch, right? Um, and so I think that um, he's just adding that, uh, like not quite adding the larynx. I think he's just adding more of a ah sound in front of the oo vowel. So it, like say the word prologue, it would be prologue. And then I would do oo with my o's. So prologue. It just kind of gives you like a different feel without adding like too much, too much saturation, too much sustain in the bottom. But anyways, 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 I'm getting into this. Look at the cool. I like the head voice. Look at the A great note, man. And I do think there's a lot of unit. I don't know what camera I'm looking at. Um, I do think there's a lot of unison going singing going on here, and it does sound like they're mixed louder than like the track or like the beat that they're singing to, which has like a little bit of vocal kind of layers and pads in it. But it sounds like I'm not gonna try to guess like how many decibels louder, but it does sound like they mix like the vocal louder. So it's very, very separate from their voices are very, very separate from um uh, from the track vocal. I'm pretty sure it's my boy Jin singing all high, right? I love it. Love it. If not, if not, I'm pretty sure it's my boy. But uh, if not, um, buddy singing high is it's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> See, so there was a perfect example of the track still doing the ooh, ooh, whatever the pitch was, but the first one they sang together and it was way louder, right? <laughs> Way quieter. I gotta pay attention because they switch into English so quickly and so sim seamlessly. Sometimes it catches me by surprise. <laughs> Yeah, let it out. This sounds like more of a supported mix. It's like not quite chest voice, not quite belting yet, but like a very, very nice uh, mixed voice, right? So that's like right at the top of your chest when you're getting into your falsetto, but you don't quite let go of your chest yet. You just kind of get like back and forward. I don't, I don't quite know how to explain it, explain it, but they're, they're all very, very proficient in their mixed voice. And I love it. I love it. It sounds very emotional. It always sounds very emotional in male singers. <laughs> Great harmonies, and then like they were they were locked in on the intonation too. So like the way that they announced the words, the three of them singing or the four of them singing, whatever that chord was, as well as when they recorded the track, bang on, bang on, super pro, man, super pro. <laughs> Great chord, man. Great chord. I want to hear that one more. One chord.
Great cadence. Great cadence. Great cadence. Zero o'clock. Okay, I got gotcha. you. What an immersive concert, though. Like, it looks like they handed out all those, like, glowing balls to everyone, too. Those discs, too. The big, giant video screens, man. Like, this is an experience. This isn't a concert. This is an experience. Who's been who's been to a concert? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've been to a concert. I'd love to hear if like what your favorite part was, favorite performance, where you saw them, whatever, whatever. I just love to hear who's seen them. I'd love to I'd love to see it. This whole thing here is this is all suspended too. This is all hung from motors and chains, man. Like one ton, two ton motors, right? Suspended from like whatever the caging is up top here. Like what a performance, man. This must have taken days to set up. Days to set up. Still, he's very restrained. Like, they're showing, like, control of the moment. Because I talk about this lots, man. Like, if I was in this situation, I would be so giddy from this crowd. And I would be smiling. And it would change how I sing and everything. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I can't, I can't appreciate how pro they are enough. You know, and and I'm, I'll say it, man. Like I know they don't need my affirmations. I know y'all don't need my affirmations from it either. But I sure appreciate it. I sure appreciate it. So when I was when I was an audio engineer, you had to you had to like listen and you had to pay attention. You had to practice almost, and you would turn what's called an attenuator up when you wanted like words to delay. So when he would say the part, like he could say the whole phrase, maybe it's just the last three words I want to have the delay on. So I would sit there and wait for it, and then in the last three words, I would turn the attenuator up. Those three words would send out of the vocal into the delay, and then you would get get delay. Right today, you can automate it, so it's like at, at you know. At four minutes and 52 seconds of showtime, of runtime, the delay starts and then it stops on beat 764 or whatever. And then it starts again at 964, like whatever, right? Like it's, there's a million different ways you can do it, but it sounds so clean and so perfect and so um, the exact same each time that I'm going to assume that it's some sort of like digital um performance along with so like what that means is they would predetermine how they want the short show to kind of go and then as they perform it everything would happen so like everything is just perfect all night long and that makes sense you'd probably you'd probably want that because like one thing i've really been reading about with bts is how much they drive to their economy bro oh my god <laughs> and how many jobs they've started so of course you want you need it to be perfect all the time right so all that stuff makes sense to me i appreciate it i appreciate it i hope i'm not making it sound like it's less than what it is because it's it's a level of professionalism man the show is the same all the time you can't miss like the train's coming you know the train's coming you gotta you gotta get on you'll get out of the way one or the other <laughs> Is it 
What I'm sitting here listening to is their control over the bottom of that note. I have a hard time leaving it out of my chest voice. It's a very comfortable spot. It's a very comfortable note for me to sing in my chest. So I have a hard time making it in my sound like it's in my falsetto or like it's soft still. And like I, I've been appreciating that for a bit. And I've just been wanting to see how far it was going to run before I said something. But like that last like eight or 16 kind of measures or bars or whatever you want to call that. Um was wild man there's a lot of control a lot of control like i say like adrenaline heart probably pumping i don't know if you ever get used to performing in front of this many people and doing music that you love and stuff you know i don't know if that ever actually like goes away the excitement so like the control man is just i i, I can't help but appreciate it That was a tough section too, man. That was a lot of singing. That was a lot of like back and forth, call and answer and harmony and stuff, man. Listen to this crowd, eh? Must have been like a stream. I think I'm thinking of my mind. I'm not going to be able to get out of my mind. I'm just going to be able to get out of my mind. I'm just going to be able to get out of my mind. I'm just going to be able to get out of my mind. I'm just going to be able to get out of my mind. In this part, because he's he's making it emotional. He's trying to drive the emotion of it, right? So. Just a little smile on the way out, eh? Great man, great. I mean, like I I I was expecting great, and I got great. Like like I say, very very immersive. Tons of control, a ton of control. From top to bottom in that, in that, and for like more reasons than just the notes and the capacity of like dynamic, right? Like I think I think it would be hard to perform in front of that many people, but I'll probably ne never get tired of watching that. But anyways, my friends, that was uh, the 20 minutes out of an eight minute, nine minute performance. So I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up and uh, let me know. I want to know if you all have seen them and where you've seen them. I would love to. I would love to hear it. But my friends, see everyone again soon.